Good afternoon. Um, my presentation discuss on maximum and sustainable preservation and cultural heritage based on digital technology. We all know that uh, the cultural heritage uh, are being destroyed over time. Uh, the traditional preservation uh, also made many efforts, but they are very expensive and laborious, but not very effective. Um, for some cases, uh, for example, like uh, uh, the National Museum of Brazil um, or the Notre Dame de Paris, uh, we would lost the architecture uh, just after one night. Uh, and now um, uh, I'd like to mention to the role of digital technology, uh, which would help us to change the way of preservation and create the opportunity to preserve uh, cultural heritage maximally and sustainably. Uh, <clears throat> in this uh, paper, um, I give two examples of uh, Heritage at the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. That is um, one architecture, this Rome House of Banna people in the center area. And the second one is a very special object, that is Gang or Naga boat of Khmer people in the south. And both of them uh, are now displayed in the open air exhibition of the museum. That means they are facing to the uh, rigs to be damaged by the natural factors <clears throat> like uh, um, rain or sun every day. And they are uh, <clears throat> they made by the materials of uh, uh, like uh, the wood, uh, bamboo, uh, this is a uh, kogong grass to make the roof of Rome house and all of them are the um, uh, uh, flammable materials and easily to be damaged. And some of them are very difficult to call to be collected now, like a kogong grass. And, um, and in this case, people can try some the other materials to uh, replace it. And the context make the change of uh, cultural heritage, including intangible and uh, tangible and intangible factors. And uh, both of uh, the heritage are associated with very rich uh, cultural life. Uh, but uh, they are gradually changing uh, due to some uh, uh, reason, uh, like uh, awareness of essential spirit of the uh, heritage and the economic. For example, the cost of traditional conservation is too expensive. Um, at the same time, attractive profit from tourism induce local people to be willing to open the door to tourists despite the risk to the, the heritage. And also the misinformation of other communities and the media also uh, make the impacts to the change of uh, um, intangible culture of the heritage. Now, uh, the the solution here is uh, that uh, with the help of uh, digital technology, we build the digital profile of cultural heritage. Uh, digital technology enables immense amount of information to be compressed 
on small storage device that can be easily to preserve and transport. And uh, uh, we, we should build the uh, a full digital profile of heritage, including the text of narrative, uh, recording file, and videos um, two direction, three direction, or four direction, uh, and uh, a virtual reality uh, video. And with this uh, profile, uh, we, will, we will be able to uh, uh, use in many uh, various purpose. For example, the research, conservation, restoration, reconstruction, exhibition, education, and communication. Um, especially in the restriction of COVID-19, uh, the, the digital database would be very helpful and useful to the people. Um, and for example, the people uh, from very long distance can uh, do the very close assessment to the detail of the, the heritage. Um, for conclusion, um, I would like to note that tangible heritage cannot last forever, but is being destroyed gradually due to the impact of many factors such as the time, climate, war, tourism, etc. Intangible heritage is also constantly changing due to the active and unconscious impact of people. Traditional preservation can only make slow down the destruction of heritage. Um, digital technology opens up the opportunity to preserve maximum information about heritage in multimedia with maximum records, including text, photo, audio, video, uh, of two or three or four dimensions. Whether the heritage is destroyed suddenly in the case of a disaster or gradually according to the rules of nature, with the information maximization provide, the generations of people can restore the physical version of heritage or discover a system of knowledge with the highest accuracy. Digital profile of cultural heritage is an important database to use for the purpose of maximum and sustainable preservation. Thank you.